Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a kind of fun project that um, this is actually my first attempt so it's not the best. I'm not going to show you the back because I've completely messed this one up. Obviously there's the saying goes you learn from your mistakes and I'm hoping that this one, the second one turns out a bit better. Um, but as you can see we have um, some beautiful new watercolour pencils. Um, we have our um, pack that we have from the annual catalogue and then if you look on my blog on Wednesday you will see, although I have already mentioned it, that we have the beautiful colour your season which is bringing out the second assortment of watercolour pencils um, and this has obviously a selection of more colours which is amazing. So I'm really excited but I thought you know leaving them like this I've, I've already done it twice this week or should I say last week looking around thinking where are my watercolour pencils because I keep putting them somewhere and forgetting because they're quite narrow they're either lent up against something or you know stacked behind something and I can't see them and I thought I really need something that's going to display them so that I can see them um, and I wanted to have something that would be able to stand by itself but I came up with this which in itself doesn't look too exciting I did say I was going to show you the back didn't I um, and it's really to show you the main principle of it mine as I say this one isn't fabulous I'm hoping my next one is but this here where the pencils hide is just a toilet roll it's as simple as that it is just I'd say a bog standard toilet roll but I don't know if that would be a pun or not but yeah, it is just simply a decorated toilet roll. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that I have managed to f fiddle about with and get it to be a pencil holder. I mean, it's nothing exciting. It's nothing different. I'm sure you've made these before when you've made sort of little pretend mortarboard caps or something. Um, but I just thought, you know what? That holds my pencils perfectly I could probably even get let me just grab one and I bet I could quite easily get a blender pen in there as well yes so simply put a blender pen in there as well and it's all together and it's perfect you can see all the colours at the top you only have to pull them slightly to see the writing so that you know which colour you've got you know you know you're going to go for a blue so you're going to pick out those two so what have we got Pacific Point Bermuda Bay Coastal Cabana and then we have Balmy Blue and Knight of Navy so instantly I know I've got my blues dead easy, dead simple and it just sits nicely on my desk now I know where they are all the time and I can see them so let's have a go at making it so you need a toilet roll you need two pieces of cardstock that are three and a half inches by three and a half inches. There's no scoring, so I've not done this in centimetres. I can add them if anybody wishes, but it's just as simple as that. You just need two three and a half by three and a half squares of cardstock. So obviously you, when you cut, you always get that little bit of a lip. So I'm going to say that, that that is the base, so it's going to sit that way. And this will be my top motorbike going past this will be my top so on the underneath as it were I want to mark it so this is three and a half by three and a half so I need a one and three quarters I need to find the center basically so I'm using my grid paper obviously you can use a ruler um, but the grid paper makes it slightly easier one and three quarters is that line and here so I'm just simply going to put a pencil line and the same here, one and three quarters, line that up, and there's my centre. Simple. I've then got my two inch circle punch, because would you believe the toilet roll is exactly two inches. Now obviously these are UK. Um, I did get my toilet rolls from Costco. Um, so anybody else that maybe has that and goes shopping there, that's, that's where I got these from. I suspect most toilet rolls will have a generic size, but... And then you just simply eyeball to make sure you've got an equal s s gap either side here and that this is pretty much central. Now, unfortunately, I can't get it to come down anymore because of the base of my punch. But I'm, 
I'm as happy as anything else that that is roughly the centre. Pop that out. And so there is my... And this will just, just, and I say just, fit over the toilet roll. So once it's on, there you have, and that's how I've obviously got this part. So these are sandwiched together. So that will go all the way down to the bottom and glue onto that one. But of course, if we just did that, what's to stop that happening? Well, this is where I've become a little bit cleverer. So my toilet roll is approximately, uh, what are we? So say roughly four and a quarter inches in length. So to make my life a little bit easier, I've just marked, or I'm going to mark, at four inches. It doesn't have to be precise, but just with my pencil, I'm just going around. And this would be a fun thing for to do with children. You could get them making their own little pencil pots to put their pens or pencils or anything in, really, any little bit of stationery that they've got. And they will have fun making this themselves. They can decorate it however they want, in whatever colours they want, I guess. So this is the only bit that takes a little bit of time. It's just simply going around marking at four inches. And then once you've done that, you just simply, oops, I mean, as I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you've done that, you've got sort of a dotted line all the way round. And I just simply used my pencil to try and create, I'm not very good at free-handed straight lines as you can tell, but I just literally went along with my pencil just to make a solid line with all those marks. Okay, so once I've done that, simply get my paper snips and snip up to that line. So I'm literally just leaving maybe a centimetre between each one and I'm just working my way up or round should I say. Now you'll get a part here like here where it, where the toilet roll slopes down that this is a bit thicker but all you're going to do then is just simply go along and push these feet out. I call them feet because that's what they're going to be. And then, as I said, if you've got, like here, where I've got double thickness, they will, to a degree, separate and you can just trim a bit off. Because it is harder to do them when they've got that double thickness. So just, as I said, just sort of peel a little bit off so that you don't have all of that because it does make it a bit harder. And it won't affect your structure, <laughs> as it were. So just give that a trim. So there are my feet. So now when this goes over and this sits on top, it's not going to come out. And that is actually pretty sturdy. Even though we only have this little bit here, it's pretty sturdy. So. We're now going to make sure that we adhere all of this. So, the first thing I'm going to do is on the base, I'm going to use my tear and tape. And again, the reason I'm using this is because I can get it right up to the edge in a straight line. And I know that that means that my base of my pot isn't going to come unstuck or I'm going to end up with it looking daft and let's be fair with it holding those pencils it needs to be fairly sturdy but this is a great way for recycling stuff as well I think you can you could use um, kitchen roll kitchen rolls too and just cut them down to size you just really need to see if you've got uh, either a, a, a punch or a framelit that's going to be a tight enough fit around because you don't want a too big a hole because it's not going to stand and it will lean and then before you know it your pencils will be on the floor and obviously if they fall then the chances are the lead's going to break and then it becomes 
a nightmare. So tear and tape on all four corners or all four sides. On the underside of this I'm just literally going to use some of my um, liquid glue and I'm just going to run it's just really for added strength but I'm just simply putting some of that and I'll show you in just one second just underneath I hope you can see yeah just underneath where that is so that will just press on there and I end up so sticky from this wet glue we then just need to take the backing off here which is always the fiddly part so that's the backing off and so now I just need to sit this as square on as I can get it and I'm hoping that that's fairly flat and then you just need to push the feet of your toilet roll down and obviously press the edges where your tear and tape is and there you have your pot with its base and you just need to decorate it so next up then let's get rid of these bits I'm afraid I'm a bit of a tidy freak can't be doing with it everywhere so next up we need to put our DSP on which I can't find here it is um, and I'm using the best route I've used it for this I've sort of got a bit of a love for it at the moment I think it's great I don't like all of the patterns they don't all um, appeal to me but some that for example if this was the reverse side I love that if that was the pattern I love the reverse so well, there's not actually any that I'm not, I don't really like because they're all, they're all great in their own way so I now have some DSP and this this is seven and a quarter by four and a quarter or in fact I might have even done seven and seven and a quarter by four and a half actually because I wanted that extra bit here um, and this is simply going to wrap around the toilet roll now it's entirely up to you whether you use tear and tape whether you use wet glue I would probably advise that you used wet glue um, because you can have a little bit of a play with it and it will go where you want it to um, the only downside with this is that sometimes your well obviously your toilet roll isn't that sturdy so it is going to move now unless you've got something and I'm looking around my craft room here and I don't see anything ideal unless you've got something that size that you can put in to hold it in shape it's going to go out of shape so even though this now is wrapped around as tightly as it can be it's still not straight here so it is a case of play and trial and see what you get come come up with the wet glue obviously you're going to have to either put elastic bands around it or hold it or something till it sets um, I did use tear and tape on the other one and I think that was a mistake to be fair I'm going to go with wet glue this time and, and then I'll show you <laughs> if this one works out I'll show you the mistakes I made with the other so obviously you need to get it right onto those edges um, and just remember that this is slightly higher than my toilet roll so give it a bit of extra because we are going to tuck the top in so plenty of glue on there All right, let's see if this will work the only other good thing with the tear and tape is the same as before is that it will um, it, it is instant you can get it straight to the edges so I'm going to put this on and then I'm literally just pushing it down so that it stays level or as level as possible with the base so let's tuck that round and then just while I can just, just play with it a little bit you cannot I mean it doesn't really matter if this isn't straight you need to just make sure that everything else is straight and I think that the tear and tape is probably better maybe put it on this edge so holding that for as much as I can so while this is just dry I'm using my glue scissors because I've got the glue on here and then I'm literally just again snipping all the way around my DSP and you may want to add some more adhesive here 
and I'm just simply running it again as I did with the, the feet I'm just running it around the inside of the tube there and then again let's just work in our way round pushing these down and then let's tuck them in and again you might have to just sort of keep doing it just to hold it all in place until it's until the glue's started to set although it's quite warm again now so it shouldn't take too long and it just gives that edge just that little bit of a tidier look really sticky fingers now <laughs> okay so as you can see this because it's it is quite hard to do it because the toilet roll or tube changes shape all the time so i have this uneven bit here and that was obviously the whole point of some beautiful ribbon that i just simply added to the bottom but obviously that is my pencil pot decorated and i've sort of done it so that my seams at an angle but you could do it so that it's straight it doesn't really matter so i've got my ribbon which just is going to sit around the bottom and because this is only going on my desk it doesn't it doesn't have to be pretty pretty so where i want the front of my ribbon i'm simply using a glue dot just in the core well in the join between the tube and the base and then again just put in it's glue everywhere now put in my ribbon and again just catching that one end just there and then going round with your ribbon make sure it doesn't twist on its way and then you can obviously then just go along very gently with your nails or with your pokey tool paper piercer should I say and just push the ribbon down and then so that that has pretty much covered see what I mean about the tear and tape it just leaves that the glue, wet glue just leaves that little bit of a lip you could feed some glue in there I guess and then all you need and I'll show you my other one in a minute that I messed up <laughs> I think I'm more likely to have this one on my desk actually and just made a little bow just to cover whoops the join of my ribbon oh come on good old bows I probably didn't really cut enough ribbon if I'm honest but let's be frugal we're already recycling a toilet roll let's not waste a ton of ribbon while we're at it so let's have a look oh this glue seriously is everywhere it's all over this ribbon now too right so there's my bow just trim that slightly and then i just simply added a glue dot again just over that join and the reason i'm doing it this way is because it was really quite fiddly to try and fit the bow tie a bow in that little gap there and get it tight and pretty so so there's my little bow and my ribbon and then I have, um, I suppose, a belly band just to go round the centre there. And I'm just going to use my snail for this one. So just sticking, again, I'm trying to get quite close to the edges here. And then an extra bit on that end there. And then this is always the fun part, trying to get this straight. So... I'm going to hope, no don't stick yet, I'm going to hope, do we think that's straight? Let's hope that this is going to work. If anybody's got any tips on how to make sure that these line up, I'd love to know, because this one isn't just a fraction out. But anyway, stick that on. So there's my little belly band on. And then all I need now is my sentiment. And I didn't get my... I'm going to use some pineapple punch here, which is obviously what I have used on the card and the gross grain ribbon. Oh, I was actually going to use mango. That's why I got that one. 
So we'll go with mango and I'm using the lovely Crafting Forever because I love this. Crafting Forever housework whenever. I just love it. So I'm going to use that and then just simply stamp that on there. And then I'll just give that a quick clean. Grab my trimmer. And I'm literally just cutting this down to size, as it were. Give that a little trim, make sure it's all level. That will do for me. And then I actually got my bone folder for this. And I just very gently curved the card because it's obviously going on that curved base. And then a little bit of snail popped on the front there and then that is my recycled let's put some of those in here recycled pencil pots and they're cute I really quite like them I'm quite proud of them and I hope you like them too all the details for stuff that I have used the products I have used and measurements are all on my blog and the link for that is just in the description hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all again soon bye